Hey, it's Jeremy here. I'm gonna quickly show you how to texture some type in Illustrator CC. So first up, you can download some textures. I'm gonna show you a cool website. You can go to freepick.com, and if you type texture, it'll give you all these um, cool textures. Um, the ones with the crown are premiums, which are from Shutterstock, but if you press selection, if you go up the top, you click selection, it'll just give you all the free ones. And then you can click vex uh, vector, and that will give you a selection of all different types of textures. So yeah, check out this site. You can download some textures here and you can use them. So what I'm gonna do is now go to Illustrator and I'm just gonna go open up a texture pack that I already have. So it's a concrete pack. I'm gonna double click on the EPS file and you can see now I've got this open. So if I zoom up and I click it, you can see it's a vector. It's all just shapes and, and anchor points as you can see that. And what I'm gonna do is click on this, press Control C Go to my other file and press Control F and or Control V and it should paste it like that. So I'm just gonna leave my texture on the left here and I'm gonna start to add some color. So what I'm gonna do is press M for the marquee tool, drag out a box. I'm gonna use this color palette that I have here. We'll use, yeah, we'll use this dark red. So I've got this background now. What I'm gonna do is lock it by pressing Control 2. I'm gonna brighten up this type here and maybe make it. We'll go. We'll go this yellow. So I've got this yellow color now. So what I can do is I can drag this texture on top of my type now, right? I can scale it. So if I hold Shift and Alt, it's gonna scale it in proportion. So I can make it really big, or I can make it really small. So I'll make it more tighter. But you can see here it's it's black and it doesn't really look nice on the on top of the type. So one key that it's good to texture your type is to you put the same texture and it's the same color as the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this red, and because it's a vector and it's just a shape, I can color it. So it's gonna click red, and now you can see this texture has sort of blended the type into the background. So you can see it gets that rough look. So I can drag it in. You can scale it. I can zoom in a little bit. See what that looks like. So it looks really nice. Another good cool trick I can do as well is I can scale it up just on the background like this. And then what I can do is go to my blending mode. So I'm just gonna press Control H to get rid of the edges there. Go to my transparency panel. You can go to Window, Transparency. Now I'm gonna go and play around with my blending mode. So if I go Multiply, you can see that it multiplies over this yellow color as well as on the red background. And because the texture is red, it's gonna multiply that red on the other red. And you can see there, it looks nice. So it's added even a texture to the background. I can also play around with other ones and get like a lighter effect. That's with screen, it looks kind of cool. But you can see it doesn't work well with the type, but it gives the background a nice flavor. Color dodge, overlay, hard light, and the other ones don't really work well. So you can see that, you can see how it sort of blends the type and the background. So you can do it that, or you can just have it separate. I'll have multiply, and then what I'll do, I can bring it to the back, so it's only gonna show on the background. And what I'll do, I'll just turn the edges back on. I'll make another copy of the texture, Control C, Control v, um, v or F. And so I'll have another texture like this, and then what I'll do, I'll play around with the other colors. So maybe I'll go to this yellow, and I'll bring that to the front. I'll just turn the edges off so you guys can see. So I'll turn multiply off and I'll put that on. So you can see there, I just change the color to yellow and just make it bigger so we get some variation. And you can see there, I've got that nice in the background, there's two colors as well as I'm gonna add it on top of um, the type. So I'll make another copy and then do it red again. And make sure that's that the this new one that we just made is on the topmost layer. So, so you can see there the reds on top of this bit here. So we've got a nice background, we've got a nice type, and it looks really cool. Um, another cool thing is that if you don't want the textures to go off the barriers, you can make a clipping mask. So I'll quickly make a box, select the texture, and press Control 7. And you can see just by doing that, it's making a clipping mask. I'll also do it for the other one too. So now the textures are within the shape, as you can see there, keeping it clean. 
So yeah, that's how you texture some type and even a background makes it really easy and simple in Illustrator, especially with, when you're using like an EPS or a vector texture. So yeah, I hope this guy, you enjoyed the tutorial. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and leave any comments if you want to see some more cool tutorials in the future.